Hey, Naja, Naja. 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 Hello, my go getters. Yes, I'm having a blast from the past. Um, I just want my new subscribers and my old subscribers to see my very, very first video, not first video, but second and third video I made a year ago when I started YouTube. It was a journey. And um, this video is about me doing cakes. Yes, how I love, love, love doing cakes. I will start doing, I will start uploading maybe every Sunday. It'll be my throwback blast from the past video of my year ago journey on YouTube. So stay tuned, watch, enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye, my go-getters. We're doing some cake pops tonight. Just uh, a little tutorial to show you how to make cake pops. I have my yellow cake here. And I already crumbled it up. You want to crumb it up into, you know, crumb it up really fine. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. So, with that being said, we done crumbed up our cake crumbs till it's nice and fine. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our buttercream here, our buttercream icing, and we're just going to put a scoop of it in it. And then we're going to knead it in. Now after we put our buttercream in, we're going to knead it into a dough-like consistency. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get the, the, the uh, buttercream in the center of all this, all the crumbs and just keep kneading it in. We got our little ball. How we're going to squeeze it. You want to make sure you squeeze it like this in between your hand. Just play with it for a little while, not really play a long time. You just want to make sure you get the dough to uh, mute, you know, fuse together. So you roll it, okay, and you put them down. Oh, that one came out nice. Oh yes, this is so exciting, so exciting. Okay, and then you just, you, you make sure you do this because this is the most important part. Because if you don't, you're gonna have cracking in your balls. <laughs> 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 Anyways, you don't want no crack balls. So we roll them. I'm done. Okay. Handy girl, you better come back here with them props. You know we need them. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna roll them. So far, I had three. You are ridiculous. Yes, three rolling balls. Yes. Yes, and you wanna just play with it like it's Play-Doh. Get them to feel like one. Look at it. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm so done. I'm so done. So we're gonna um, keep on rolling the balls, and once we get the, the twelve that we want, that's all we want is twelve. Is twelve balls, and then we're gonna decorate them. But what? Once I get them all rolled, that's the thing. Once I get them all rolled, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. You can put them in the freezer, but if you put them in the freezer for 20 or 30 minutes, you take them out, you can't use them, you have to let it sit for at least 10 minutes. So I don't like to deal with the freezer, I've done it before just to see and my balls started cracking. And you don't want that, that's the worst thing. So you put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, then you come back. We'll go, we'll get to that, we'll get to that, um, that section soon. I mean, we'll get to that part. But for right now, we're just gonna roll these balls. Just rolling balls, you know? We're rolling. 
Yes, and get them to a nice consistency. Half a teaspoon. So we're going to take this half a teaspoon and we're going to roll it into a ball. First, you want to take it between your fingers, squeeze it, bounce it back and forth. Really get one with the dough, the cake that turned into dough. So we're going to roll it like this until you get a nice round ball. Then we're going to place it on our tray. Thank you, handy girl. You're so handy. Place it on our little tray right there and sit it down. The, tea, the uh, tablespoon that we have, we're just going to use, if you don't know how to fill it up to make a ball, my suggestion is to just do half. Take that half out, put the other half in. Put the other half in, take it out, you got your tablespoon. There but you, you could use that one tool that they got when you put all of it in and it just, you know. We don't have that tool right now. But yes, they have a tool that you can make your own um, cake balls round. It just clamps it together, has both sides to it. Oh, thank you, Handy Girl. Yeah. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I appreciated that. Okay, so yeah. So you see we rolling it. And this is our big ball. So we only need two of them. Yes, because we're only using two sticks. So we're going to put this in here, and we're just going to keep rolling. How exciting is that? Imagine doing a hundred of these. Yeah, I know. My point exactly. So, with this batter that I have is a 9 by 13 pan that I baked a quarter sheet in, and you can get 26 balls. But we're not doing 26 balls tonight. Now, we're going to do 12 or 13. You're going to do two big ones and some small ones. Yes, how fun is that? Very. Roll it till you got a nice little ball. Look at that. Awesome. And you're going to sit it right here in your pan. In your pan. Over there. Can you see that? Can you see that, handy girl? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, you're supposed to be helping me direct. Oh. All right, so that's uh, the tablespoon that we use. Okay, we're gonna just make up 12 of these, and then if you don't, you're not gonna make a whole bunch of these balls, which I we're not, so I'm gonna probably take the rest of this to work with me tomorrow for my coworkers. You know? Yes, this is so exciting. Yeah, I'm so excited. These are our cake puffs. I just finished rolling them and we're going to put them in the refrigerator. For how long? For 20 minutes. We're going to put them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Hello, and we're and back. We made. melted our candy melt. It is light blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stick. We're going to dip it in the candy melt and then dip it into the pot. And what I like to do is get me some gloves. Okay. Where's my got my gloves on. Okay. So we stick the candy the uh, lollipop stick in the candy melt. Pick the candy melt, pick the pop up, and stick it in on the flat side. Oh. And we repeat the same method method throughout all of the pops, basically. Okay, make sure you get it all on the stick because you want it. Because then we're going to pop it back in the refrigerator for another 20 minutes. It's nice and smooth, our candy melt. And we're going to dip it, our cake pop, into it. So if, at, whenever you're melting your candy melt and it gets kind of chunky, you can use some coconut oil just a bit just a bit of the coconut oil in the candy melt to help it dip so now when you dip you want to hold your pop up let me slant it this way I can't seem to get it and you want to roll it okay it's a 
about the hole. And you just kind of, it's about to fall and break off. <laughs> Are we still rolling? <laughs> Did you pause this? No, I want to. I kind of want to see it fall off. <laughs> okay, if you dip it in. It'll fall off, okay? So you're gonna keep recording. <laughs> so then you dip it, put it in your sprinkles, and there you got it. Boom. Candy pop. Thank you for watching. Let me try it. Our candy pop. Cake. Cake pop. Yes, isn't it beautiful? Yes. And my favorite out of all of them is this red one. Looks just like a candy apple. But if you don't dip it right, if you dip it too, if you put it in the, if you put it in too fast, you'll have this. The candy pop <laughs> that falls. That's so cake pop that falls. That's not cool. So here you have it. Our candy pop. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Delicious. Very good. Very good. Oh, that is so good. So make sure you like, <clears throat> comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Get it together with nausea. Candy pops. Delicious. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Get it together with nausea. <laughs>